What's going on, YouTube? Come back at you with another video. We got Noble, Young Noble from the Outlaws. He's responding to everything going on with this conversation about who is a bigger artist from 92 to 96. Was it Tupac? Was it Snoop? This kind of seems like to me this conversation shifted from who is the bigger artist to did Snoop Dogg pave the way for Tupac to be legendary? So let's check out what um, Noble had to say. There's actually a lot going on in this post. Glasses Malone in here. Um, Young Noble it says some interesting things to Glasses Malone. Let's check it out. He said, I usually ignore the fuckery on this internet shit, but I see a few guys who was actually around back then co-signing this shit, LOL. So let's do a little history lesson since people like to forget the truth. Pac dropped his first album, Tupacalypse Now, in 91. Juice Movie came out in 92. Poetic Justice came out in 93. Pac's second album, Strictly For My, came out in 93. Above the Rim Movie came out in 94. Thug Life Volume 1 album came out in 94. Me Against the World album came out in 95 and went number one in the world. While well, Pac was in jail on bogus charges and had just been shot. Pac signed to Death Row end of 95. The Chronic album dropped 92. The Snoop album dropped 93. Make no mistake about it, Snoop was huge and changed the game, but Pac was a huge star in his own right way before he came to Death Row. That's why they wanted him over there. Wasn't nobody on the road doing movies, and nobody over there had the intense work ethic Pac did. Pac was finishing whole albums before some of these guys would finish one song, LOL Facts. No doubt the Roe and Snoop helped Pac reach another level, but he added just as much star power to what they already had popping. The whole movement was shit legends are made of, and you can't no take nothing away from any of them, especially not Pac, the guy who passed at 25 years old and didn't get to finish out his goals. I agree 100% with everything he said. Spot on. Couldn't have said it better myself. Let's check out what people are saying. Gonzo's in here. He said... The crazy no one in the right mind would take that statement seriously. He said that to get them on shows with Snoop. Riding for Pac has little value to most of these guys who either weren't around then or was jealous of him to begin with. How many people on the planet have Snoop Dogg tattoos? And how many people represent Pac on the planet with tattoos on your whole body, etc.? So it was obvious he was held in a much higher regard personally with people on the planet. So that statement was politically correct coming from him. But analytically preposterous. The math don't add up. Um, Glasses is in here. He said Snoop and the row helped Pac reach another level. My only point cuz. Cuh. And then Young Noble says... And the truth is, you only even on The Breakfast Club because your video about Pac's life. You owe Pac a thank you song for breathing life into your career from the grave and giving you the little tension you was looking for. That's facts, right? Be honest. So Young Noble's blasting him. Is that true? Like, was Glasses Malone basically just gone and now Tupac breathed? some life into his career is that an accurate statement let me know in the comments little scrappies in there he says exactly bro um you can read all these comments i'm gonna just tell you honestly i like i said i agree 100 percent with what noble is saying this conversation is kind of ludicrous to me to be honest with you uh, snoop dogg definitely changed the game 1993 when doggy style came out snoop was at the top of the game like he literally was number one and that's the reality of the situation but long before that day came tupac was already established tupac was already doing his own thing he was in movies he had multiple classic albums he had multiple albums or platinum or he had platinum album gold albums he was doing his thing already before he came to death row Part of the reason why Death Row blew up the way it did with Tupac there, too, was because you got to remember, Tupac was just coming out of prison. 
People were waiting to see what Tupac had to say. How was he going to address the situation with getting shot? How was he going to address this prison situation? So there was a massive buzz surrounding Tupac, regardless of where he would have went. The fact that he went to death row only, um, you know, to, to link up with everybody else that was there at the time, only made everything that much more. But again, Tupac was already firmly established whether or not he would have went to death row wherever he would have went if it would have been different tupac would have been a legend and that's just what it is in my opinion let me know what you guys think in the comments i appreciate you watching hit the like hit the subscribe share um make sure you leave some feedback make sure you also ring the bell i definitely appreciate you though peace